Welcome back everybody to another video. It's me Taj. Hope you guys have all been keeping well and today I'm going to be going through more of the One Piece card game. So you guys have probably seen one of my previous videos. I've done two videos actually. I did one on the demo deck which I opened and went through with you guys. I did another one on all the Japanese promos from promo 1 through to 23 which I managed to acquire and today we're going to look at these promos. So let me fill you in. So the, my friend James, who helped me get um, the original demo decks, said to me, Taj, I've, uh, he went to a few super pre-releases. The guy was, has been dedicated by this game since the very start, since it was announced, and he really wants to get involved in it. So he booked super pre-releases super early, managed to get himself on three across the country. And he said, well, I've got a few demo, I've got a few promo packs. Um, so you can have four. Um, so you got a place out of every card. And he kindly gave me a fifth one. So I've got one for my... Um, folder as well so we've got five of those so we're going to open one of those up today but he also gave me a play set of um, a full don deck worth of stamped super pre-release cards and whilst i was there i said to him listen if you have any spare decks that you don't need and you're willing to sell let me know because i do want to enter these super pre-release uh, online tournaments and he did me a mate's rate on this so this is what we're going to be opening today as well it is the Straw Hat Crew starter deck for the One Piece card game. This is coming out, I think, in December in English, but this is not just any version. This is the super pre-release version, um, first edition. Um, so totally sealed. As you can see, it's still got the stickers on it. Uh, so it's never been opened. So we're going to be opening this today. But before we do, let's just... Uh, yeah, so we've got the Don Dex. Uh, let's open one of the promo packs because I'm super keen to get into this. So it's got all five of the first uh, promos. Now, again, these promos are legal to play in uh, tournaments and decks. So he gave me, like I said, he was going to give me four. So I've got a place of each one, but he's given me a fifth one. So I can keep one in my collection folder. So let's go through these. So this is a character card for monkey so monkey d luffy as we all know and um this is a seven thousand power it's uh, six dawn to play it's uh, got an ability on here that is dawn times two so you can rest two dawn and this character gains rush so basically it can attack the turn it comes in so late game you know you could have eight to ten dawn available bring this guy out boom rush seven thousand if, the, if your opponent doesn't have many cards left in hand to pump up their leader, you can, you know, potentially win a battle with this. So quite a useful, uh, large, obviously six drop uh, character card, but huge impact when it comes in. Your opponent's going to have to use one or two cards in hand and discard them to try and pump up their uh, leader. Okay, uh, promo number two is uh, an event card. And this one is um, I Spell Adventure Ahead. And it says it in the text there as well. So on the main, it basically costs you one to play this card. Uh, on main, return all cards in your hand to your deck and shuffle your deck, then draw cards equal to the number you returned to your deck. So basically it lets you redraw your hand um, if you haven't got anything attractive in your hand to play with. So that's pretty useful. Trigger, activate this card's main effect. So if you get this from your uh, uh, life total, uh, it essentially does exactly what it says on the card okay let's have a look at promo number three so this one is eustace captain kid uh character card now what you're going to find is all the character cards in these promos are actually the leaders in all the main starter decks that are coming out so it's four thousand three drop it's got a counter for one thousand like a pump up your characters if you are defending by a thousand if you discard this Dawn times two, this character gains double attack. So this card deals two damage. Um, I need to read up whether that damage, you can change the target, I'm assuming. You possibly can, but uh, maybe not. I don't think so, but basically it can um, do 8,000 damage just uh, by resting two Dawn. So rather than keep pumping it with two Dawn to 6,000, you can rest two Dawn and give it 8,000. Pretty useful indeed. Okay. Then let's have a look at our uh, fourth promo card. As I said, it's another one of the uh, characters who's a leader in one of the starter decks. It's Crocodile, 5,000, four cost to play, counter plus 1,000 again. Don Juan, this character gains blocker. 
Uh, so after your opponent declares an attack, you may rest this card to make it the new target of their attack. So yes, you can uh, use Crocodile as a blocker to save yourself losing one of your life, which is always a positive. Okay, and then the final promo card is Kaido. Again, he's the leader in the purple starter deck. 8,000 um, energy this guy's got, but he's huge, seven drop. And activate during your main Don minus two. You may return the specified number of Don cards from your field to your Don deck. So essentially, reducing what you can play with by two. But if you're late game, then that can ascend. You're going to get those two back the next turn anyway. So it gives you um, an ability here where, you know, the later in the game, the better it is. Um, he gains rush, you know, he gains banish during this turn. So when this card deals damage, the target card is trashed without activating its trigger. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's all of our promos. So that's the five promo cards. As I was saying, we're now going to go to the starter deck. And I've just remembered I haven't muted my phone. So let's do that. Right, put my phone to one side. Okay, let's get to the starter deck and have a look at this. I'm super excited about this. I don't know if you guys can tell or not in my voice, but I am. So we're going to get into this starter deck. Uh, fine, you don't know how difficult it was. I missed out on getting on. I thought, it was in a, I thought I'd missed out on pre-releases. Then I read the official website and it said, no, we're going to be advertising. Super pre-releases don't go live until the 16th of September. And you will be able to register on the Bandai TCG Plus app. And I was like, oh, fantastic. I'll do that. And when I did, I found a location and I uh, thought I had entry to a super pre-release, but I hadn't because as with every store, they'd already booked in advance with, without using the uh, official Bandai method of booking, which was through the app. So I missed out. So here we go. OK, so here is the super pre-release deck. Again, it's uh, let's uh, see if we can slide out. No, we can't slide that out. Uh, very difficult to slide out. Okay, I was going to slide out the instructions, so then it came off a bit easier and didn't damage any of the cards, but I couldn't do that. Okay, so at the back you get instructions on how to play the game. Um, there's plenty of videos out there teaching you how to play the game, but if you're not sure, uh, leave a comment below if you want me to do a tutorial on how to play the game. There's an app out there as well, but we can go through it. I can certainly um, show you guys how to play the game there is what your play area looks like um so yeah some instructions there which is always very useful let's have a look at the deck now shall we so as with every deck you're gonna get oh some very shiny stuff in here by the looks of it you're gonna get yourself uh 10 don because you need 10 don in your don deck so there we go there's a 10 don with super pre-release stamp on them every card's got a super pre-release stamp on it super excited about that so let's pop that down there and then you're going to have your leader card. In this case, we have got uh, Monkey D. Luffy, uh, super pre-release stamp. I believe this is an alternate artwork to what you'd find in the normal starter decks. I am getting the normal star starter decks in English as well. So stay tuned to my channel. You'll be able to see what they look like. And we can do a comparison at the time as well. But there we go. There's a hollow version of Monkey D. Luffy. Beautiful looking card. Look at the foiling on that. Looks absolutely epic. Ground line sort of world map in the background. So that's pretty cool. So let's pop that down there. I will sleeve all of these as soon as this video is over. So don't you guys worry about that. All these cards are getting sleeved. Uh, the leader card will probably go into a uh, plastic uh, case as well. Uh, because leader cards, you need one in every deck. You don't shuffle it in. So I'm going to keep those in plastic cases. Uh, rather than in sleeves. So here is our Monkey D. Luffy again. This one is our um, SR character. 6,000 power, 5 play cost. Uh, he's got rush, so he can attack at the turn he comes in. Don times 2 when attacking your opponent can activate blocker. So you can get direct attack through without blocker. If you pay 2 Don, um, if you basically rest 2 Don. Very, very nice. So we get two copies of this. So we pop that down there. And then um, our other SR is the first person Monkey actually recruited onto his team or crew um, is Zoro. So amazing artwork on this. Again, it's an SR card. It's a great to see. Uh, this one's got Don times one. This character gains 1000 DP. Um, same as pretty much putting Don on it. But I think, I don't know if you can uh, 
No, well, it's not a blocker. So yeah, it's only when attacking, really. Three cloths to play at 5,000. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. So we've got two copies of that. Gently pop that down just over here. And then let's start looking at some of the other characters. So we have got um, Usopp, who's uh, 2,000 power. Not huge. Um, two costs to play, so quite cheap. Got a counter for plus 1,000, so it might be useful to just keep it in your hand and use its counter. But for Dawn Times 2, when attacking your opponent, can activate blocker character, uh, a blocker character that has 5,000 or more power during this battle. That can be quite useful. So if you've got this on play and you've saved some Dawn and you're getting attacked, you can stop. Uh, sorry, you're trying to get attacked through. Um, you can stop your opponent playing a block blocker that could potentially um, ruin your attack. So we have got four copies of that. It's got full play set, which is quite nice. We've got Cairo, um, which is just a vanilla uh, 3000 uh, power, one drop, which is always good. That counter plus 1000. And yeah, that's not too bad. 3000 for one. And it gives you counter. That's uh, pretty nice. So we've got four copies of those. Sanji is our next character. Um, 4,000 power, two drop. Dawn times two, this character gains rush. Always good. Late game to be able to uh, give a character rush. So yeah, four copies of that. We've got Jinbi. 5,000, uh, four copies of this. And three to play. I'm going to have to pause the video. Just bear with me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Apologies about that. I had to go and get the door. A uh, couple of deliveries at the same time, back to back. Let's continue. Jimby, like I was saying, 5,000, uh, three cross cloths to play. Don times one, when attacking your leader or one of your characters other than this card gains 1,000 power during this turn. It's quite useful. So for three, you're getting 5,000 in play. And if you keep one Don back when attacking... Uh, you can give 1,000 power to another character or your leader, which is really useful. So as I was saying, we've got four copies of that. So I'll pop that down there. Then we've got a fan favorite, uh, Chopper, Tony Tony Chopper. One cost to play, 1,000. Uh, blocker. So it's a cheap blocker, quite good. Um, so yeah, if your opponent is attacking you, blocker is essentially blocker as in most other games. You can use it to block attacks and literally be cannon fodder. Uh, but it stops you losing life. So yeah, it's a cheap one cost. Get it out there and you can use it as cannon fodder to block attacks. Uh, Nami, another popular character, 1000, again, one drop. She's got counter as well. So useful to keep in your hand if you don't need to put her out on the field, but she's got an uh, activated ability once per turn during your main phase. Give one rested Dawn card to your leader or one of your characters. So you can essentially used on to play something then if it's rested or you've used it to play something you can still attach it to one of your characters or your leader to give him a buff of 1000 uh, dp so quite useful uh, to have her there so a good attack and defense i.e she's got counter and she can buff up your attacks as well okay nico robin again she's got counter 1000 three drop 5000 so good but uh fairly vanilla doesn't really do much else but a good large uh 5000 uh power character to have on the field now feltery vb again 4000 two drop 1000 counter again quite useful and then we've got frankie big boy 6000 um so very powerful guy four drop counter of 1000 and that's pretty much what he does <laughs> we got brooke <laughs> who's a uh, two drop for 3000, but more importantly, has a counter of 2000, two copies of a Brook. Quite useful in the counter because, you know, you can use one Brook to nullify most attacks from your um, opponent. So that's pretty useful to have in your hand. And then we've got some events. So we've got Guard Point, which is a uh, long drop. Uh, it's a counter basically your leader or one of your characters gains plus 3000 during this battle so that's a pretty impressive buff you know for a one cost to do that but you got to make sure you still got some uh, 
Dawn available when you're taking attacks. Trigger, so if this was played from your um, life cards, your, your leader, one of your characters, gains plus 1,000 power during this turn. So yeah, two copies of that. Uh, another uh, event card, Gum Gum, Gum, a jet pistol, four to play. Uh, main, knock out one of your opponent's characters with 6,000 power or less. It literally is uh, the Gum Gum Fruit <laughs> power punch jet pistol. So yeah, that is pretty uh, nice. And as a trigger, activate this card's main effect. So yeah, if this was played from your um, life total, you can literally knock out one of your opponent's uh, characters. Maybe one that was about to attack. So that'd be pretty good. P possibly prevents another attack. Okay. Uh, Di Diable Jambe is this uh, Diable. Diable Jambe, maybe? Uh, Diable Jambe main uh, says one cost. Select one of your Straw Hat crew type leader or character cards, which should be pretty much all of them in this deck. Uh, your opponent cannot activate blocker if that leader or character attacks during this turn. And trigger, knock out one of your opponent's blocker characters with a cost of three or less. So again, quite useful. And then we have got a stage card in here. So stage cards are like um, stadiums in Pokemon, I would say. They stay on the field and they have um, concurrent uh, uh, effects. And this one's got a main activate during your main. You may rest this stage. Uh, one Straw Hat crew type leader or character card on your field gains plus 1000 power during this turn. So yeah, two to play it, but it has reoccurring effects. So it's useful to have on top of your characters out there. Gives you something that'll pub buff um, your leader or one of your characters by a thousand, which can be game changing, I suppose, at some points in the game. So there we have it. That is our starter deck. Hope you guys um, have enjoyed this video, maybe learn a bit more about One Piece. If you are curious, go and check back my video on the demo deck. I do speak a bit more about it there as well. There is a tutorial app as well, so go and check that out. So the tutorial app for um, One Piece, you can find it on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, try it out. You'll be playing with this red deck and then you will unlock the purple deck to play with as well once you've completed the missions in that tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be bringing you a lot more One Piece content soon, trust me. As soon as it starts releasing in English, I am super keen to be playing this game and to start collecting the cards, to build up a collection. So stay tuned to my channel. Uh, you'll see a lot more of this card game in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.